Hi, I'm Anthony, and in this video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will talk about BET surface area and how to measure it. BET surface area, which is also known as specific surface area, is probably the most critical physical property of an electrode material. This method uses gas sorption data to quantify the number of molecules of adsorbate in a monolayer on the surface of the material. This type of data is obtained with a gas sorption analyzer, also known as surface area analyzer. After accurately weighing the sample in a cell, preferably with a four decimal micro balance, the cell is placed in the sample preparation station for degassing. A sample ID must be created in the software. Here, the information entered would be the sample type, whether or not to activate powder protect mode, which slows down vacuum evacuation and prevents elutriation, the cell ID, where you select whether you are using a calibrated cell or an uncalibrated one. This, in turn, will adjust the calculation of the void volume. You can also select to automatically import the degassing information, which saves all information related to pretreatment and analysis with the sample ID. Degassing is done by vacuum or flow, but in both cases, it is also necessary to heat the sample in order to ensure that it is completely dry. The heating temperature varies depending on the sample type, but for the battery materials, it is usually between 80 to 150 degrees Celsius. With the instrument control, select the degassing profile, where you would enter the target temperature, the heating rate, and the soak or hold period. Degassing time varies by sample, but for electrode materials, it is usually done within six hours to overnight, and you can monitor the degassing status in real time on the touchscreen or in the software. Once degassing is done and the sample is cooled down, remove the sample cell, weigh it, then update the sample ID with the weight after degassing, which will be used for computing the BET surface area of the sample at the end. With instrument control, you can select a previously saved analysis profile, modify a previously saved one, or create a new one entirely. The analysis can then be started either through the software or the touchscreen by selecting the created analysis profile and sample IDs. For each station, different analytical profiles could be established. Common analysis parameters such as adsorbent gas, analysis temperature, and void volume mode should be the same for all samples, although equilibrium parameters may differ depending on the sample. Once the analysis is done, the BET surface area is automatically calculated from the multipoint isotherm displayed on the touchscreen. So this computed BET surface area, measured in square meter per gram, plays an indirect role on the capacity as well as on the charge-discharge rates of the battery. And in the next video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will examine the role of particle size and particle shape on the entire process.